Any French jokes? Do I know any French jokes? <laughs> jokes. No, so the start of Toto. No, sorry, it's okay. So I no worry about it. My name is Antoine Bernardo. I'm born in Paris um, almost 39 years ago now. And um, I uh, born in a, actually part of Paris, is, uh, the richest part of Paris. It's a little rich ghetto. It's called uh, Neuilly sur Seine with uh, very little Muslim presence altogether. So I wasn't aware of any uh, you know, other faith than uh, the one I kind of grew, uh, grew up in, which was the, the Christian faith. So I became Muslim in America in 2001. I became Muslim uh, mostly through uh, meeting a French Algerian uh, brother uh, outside a, a nightclub. I was working as a DJ at the time and uh, he, you know, God made it so that we, we met right there in front of this nightclub. He heard me speak French and he was just coming into town. I basically helped him move in and we actually became roommates and then started also working together. Um, and that's how I really you know, get the first feel of uh, what uh, being Muslim was, basically, just through being with, uh, with, uh, with a Muslim like this. And uh, along the theoretical part, basically, there was more of a uh, metaphysical part, I would say, where uh, my first encounter with the Quran uh, was very strong. I, um, I was becoming sick at the time. I had you know, a bunch of different symptoms that I couldn't really explain. And uh, my, uh, my, yeah, my concern was with, with my health, actually. And I opened up to this brother and he said, well, you know, maybe the Quran can help. Uh, and he, was, he knew about the healing power of, of Quran. And uh, so the first time I actually heard the Quran was in this big um, condo we were living in, uh, where we actually were still doing parties in there at the time. Uh, and I was sitting, you know, on a chair uh, with another brother that he had brought in that I didn't know, a Moroccan brother, um, who starts talking to me in a language that I don't understand, which was Arabic. He was reciting Quran, and uh, and I start reacting to it very strongly. I start shaking. I, you know, it was uh, very, very. Uh, uh, I was very at ease at first. It was very just unsettling for me, and so the first thing that I think crossed my mind was, you know, what, what's happening. The first thing that crossed my heart was, I think, uh, there is something in there for you. This is, you know, this is um, the direction. But there was just this call, you know, this call was uh, overwhelming uh, to the point when I became Muslim, I went to the mosque for the first time and to, took my shahada. I thought, you know, what's going to happen to me? You know, just reciting the Quran has this profound effect on me. What's going to happen to me when I do this in front of uh, you know, hundreds of people? And uh, the truth was, it was uh, overwhelming, but to, not the way I expected it. Uh, it was overwhelming, overwhelming because the people who came to me, and it was this huge family, you know, get, you know, bringing me in and cheering with me, and you know, giving me money and giving me all kinds of gifts and all this. So it was, uh, it was just really uh, entering a uh, family. Uh, in a way that I didn't know before, basically. I was in the US at the time, and I was away from my family. I had been away for quite a long time. So my concern was, you know, how are they going to react uh, when they hear that basically I changed my way. Uh, you know, I didn't have, uh, like, a, I wasn't following an organized religion at the time. And I think both my family and friends as well, I was a bit worried about how they would uh, perceive me. The first thing that Islam brought back to me is uh, this sense of uh, no separation uh, between us, between you know, all that's around us. This reconnection was so strong that you know, physically I was, again, shaking. And internally things were, were changing. I, uh, I, I did change physically, I did change uh, uh, in, in a, on a lot of different uh, levels. But this is very much, you know, like a very personal thing. You know, it's hard to express in words, even, uh, the, the feelings that I have and the, um, the wellness, you know, the overwhelming wellness that uh, Islam has brought to me. Who you are uh, and, you know, who Islam will, uh, will make you become is, you know, is just a continuation. Uh, and the people that, that are you know, loving you, around you, and are honest with themselves, they can, only, they can only but see this. They don't have to be worried about it, basically. And you don't. 
that's the main thing. Don't worry, and um, alhamdulillah, God, God is there and God will take care of this for you.